616 in this morning's Money Watch. How vulnerable are small businesses in South Carolina during the pandemic? And President Trump is expected to announce his economic task force later on today. Jane King live in New York with the Tuesday Morning Business Report. Good morning, Jane. Hi, Margaret, and good morning to you. Yes, President Trump will announce the economic task force today. So uh, this will be the people in charge of getting the U.S. economy open again. Now, reports are that it will be led by the chief, uh, the White House chief of staff, Mark Meadows, as well as Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and also the chief economic advisor, Larry Kudlow. They'll be tasked with finding the best way to open back up the economy without damaging safety. Well, small businesses in South Carolina are more vulnerable to closing than many other states. Wallet Hub ranks states on access to credit and resources as well as overall business environment. It says South Carolina had the lowest share of any state of businesses with SBA loans. Well, Amazon hiring 75,000 additional workers after it hired more than 100,000 last month. The company has added more warehouse and delivery workers as demand has surged for having things delivered. Amazon's also raised hourly employee pay. And stocks did in mixed yesterday. Investors looking ahead this week to earnings. So this will be for the first quarter. It uh, will capture the uh, very beginning of the pandemic. So this will include the month of March. Uh, we do expect uh, the banks to be reporting this week. So we're going to be watching that. Ford, by the way, I took it on the chin yesterday after warning about plummeting sales. So we expect to hear more companies report things like that. Today, they're looking higher, up more than 300 points. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you. And Jane, we'll really just take anything that we can get at this point. Any good news? Yes, sir. All right, thanks so much. We'll check in tomorrow morning.